assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to inventory management system tutorials and today is our lecture number 26 after a long time i am creating this video uh, based on the demand of my uh, followers on youtube because uh, most of the students are asking me some of the uh, most commonly occurring problems so that's why i have decided to create this tutorial and i wanted to display one of the most common uh, problem that is uh, arising uh, to most of the students that are uh, following this inventory management system and later on I will tell you why I have uh, delayed uh, so much uh, in starting this inventory management system uh, or in continuing uh, the further lectures of the inventory management system because there are some problems. So let me discuss that problems and let me first share the error that is coming uh, to most of the users very frequently. So let's start. Alright guys, so uh, that's my inventory management software. So let me tell you the first error that you have to resolve and how you can resolve that. Look, when I'm starting my software, uh, most of the students are getting this error. Let me zoom in. So that's my error. Type initializer for this main class throughs an exception. So how can you resolve this error? Let me show you. Let's just go to the view details. And then you can you see this pop up and just open this uh, uh, drag this tree and then see the inner exception. When you open the inner exception, you can easily find what's the problem. Look, so let me zoom it. Now it's fine. So it is saying that could not find the file. So at my case, because I have switched my windows from windows 8.1 to windows 10. So my all files are deleted. So that's why when I'm starting my software, it is saying that your file is not found, could not find the file. Okay. So how can you resolve this error? Simply go to your recycle bin. By mistake, you have maybe you have deleted this file, your connection string file. So just restore that file. Okay. When you restore that file, this error will be resolved automatically. Okay. But this is not the case for everyone. Maybe someone can receive this error with respect to some different cause. So just come inside this exception and go to its inner exception and see what inner exception is saying. And that inner exception will more specifically tell you what actually the problem is occurring when you are starting your software. I hope uh, after watching this, you can now resolve this type initializer throughs an exception error that is appearing here. So let me go to the desktop and go to the recycle bin and just restore my uh, connection string file. So let me show you. So uh, desktop and then uh, recycle bin and in your, in your recycle bin, you might have seen, you might notice here the connect file. Look. That's why this file, I should restore it. So when I restore it, what will happen? Just go to the software and where that file was restored, that, that, this, that file was restored in the my documents folder. Okay. Let me show you inside my documents. Look, this file is there. Okay. Connect. And inside this connect file, I have my connection string. So let's start the software now and see what will happen. Look, the software is now working. As per, as per normal okay and when I click login so database is also connected and all that so that's my inventory management system so uh, that was the one error that I wanted to discuss today and now uh, let me tell you one more thing why I was not creating further lectures of inventory management system uh, the reason was that the at this point uh, up till now that we have created the inventory management system is good for small purposes okay but there are two main problems uh, that I have detected inside this inventory management system so uh, it can be run on a small level but at huge level or at, at at a very large level you have some you will face some problems that i'm going to discuss now so the first problem that you will face is the expiry date so let's say uh, here inside inventory management system when you are adding the product you are specifying the expiry okay so uh, why you have added this product uh, because so that you, your product will not repeat again and again in future. Let's say you have added uh, a dairy milk chocolate inside your products list and the expiry of the dairy milk you have added to one month from today. Okay. So after that, uh, you have purchased the dairy milk, let's say 500 dairy milks you have purchased. Okay. And then when you have purchased 500 dairy milks and you have sold out 400 dairy milks and now you have left with only 100 dairy milks. Okay. So when you have left with only 100 dairy milks and the time span has passed already 20 days, now the expiry of that 100 dairy milks uh, is only, only 
10 days uh, you have the one month expiry let's say so 20 days are passed 400 dairy milks are sold out 100 remaining and then 10 days of expiry is also remaining so when the product is about to finish what is that, what we do we purchase new inventory so when we purchase new inventory the new dairy milk will come into the context and when the new dairy milk will come into the context the expiry date of that new dairy milk should be updated so when you update the expiry date here of that existing dairy milk what will happen the previous 100 dairy milks expiry date will also update and that's a genuine problem that should not update that should not update that the previous the old dairy milk chocolates uh, should have the 10 days expiry remaining and the new dairy milks that you have added should have the one month expiry remaining okay so that was an, an architectural problem that i found so i have to change this uh, the architecture of this particular software domain and what i have come with the solution the solution is we can add the product the same product every time when we are purchasing the inventory so uh, instead of making the product as our primary key uh, we use this product again and again and make the barcode as the primary key because every month or every two months or every quarter when you are purchasing the product maybe the barcode changed uh, let's say the barcode was zero when you have first purchased the dairy milk and when you have purchased the dairy milk after two months uh, the the barcode of the dairy milk uh, changed to some other barcode then what will you, what you can what you can do you cannot use it uh, again and again because when the next time you purchase dairy milk and the barcode is changed and you have updated the barcode here what will happen again the same problem the old one the old expiry and the new expiry uh, will mix up together and that's become a fraud to the people okay so that was a genuine problem that i wanted to discuss with you people so uh, inshallah uh, when i get the time uh, and uh, proper uh, resources so I will continue to change this architecture and then uh, uh, I will add product with respect to the purchase invoice. I will not come inside my software and I will not add products from here. I will not add products from here. Okay. What I will do uh, in the next lectures, inshallah, I will create. I will just, I will first go to the purchase invoice and from here I can add the products and all that and the expiry date of that particular product and then add it. So when the when I save the product from here on from the purchase invoice, I will then insert the product data inside the product table, inside the stock table, inside the purchase invoice table, and inside the purchase invoice detail ta details table. So this is my primary window. Uh, later on, when I will create the further lectures, but I am just telling you that what you can do if you are uh, if you are following me in, on this particular software. So uh, uh, before me, you can try this. You can select your this purchase invoice window as a primary window and then via with with this window you can store the product from this window at the from the at the back end and then you can store the stock at the back end you can store the purchase invoice and the purchase invoice detail at the back end i hope it is clear to everyone so uh, hopefully uh, what i have said to you and uh, the error that i have shown you uh, is uh, exactly clear to everyone uh, if you do not understand anything still so please do write me. Thank you so much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.